Ever found it hard to get over someone you like? You're not alone. It's a common struggle we all face at some point in our lives. It's like a thorn in your heart, a constant reminder of something that once was. And it hurts. It hurts a lot. But here's the thing. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to feel that pain, to acknowledge it, to let it wash over you. It's a part of the process, a necessary step in the journey of moving on. You see, when we suppress our feelings, we deny ourselves the opportunity to heal. But when we sit with our emotions, when we allow ourselves to feel every wave of sadness, disappointment or anger, we start the healing process. So, don't shy away from the pain. Embrace it. Let it be your guide. Remember, it's okay to feel the pain. It's the first step to healing. Now, let's talk about distractions. They can be quite powerful, can't they? Distractions, specifically the healthy kind, are like a balm for a bruised heart. They're not an escape, but rather a way to shift the spotlight from your emotional turmoil to something more positive and rewarding. Imagine diving into an engaging hobby or losing yourself in the rhythm of an intense workout. These activities can act as a constructive diversion, redirecting your thoughts and emotions towards something that makes you feel accomplished and upbeat. Surrounding yourself with friends is another great distraction. Their company can fill your days with laughter, shared experiences, and new memories, effectively diluting the old ones that might be causing you pain. So let's rethink the concept of distractions. They're not just about keeping busy, they're about keeping healthy. They're about shifting your focus, about finding joy and fulfillment elsewhere. Find something you love doing and let it consume your thoughts instead. It's time to put yourself first. Ever heard of the term self-care? It's more important than you might think. Self-care is not just about pampering yourself. It's about acknowledging your needs and taking steps to meet them. It's about loving yourself enough to prioritize your well-being, especially during challenging times. When navigating the choppy waters of heartbreak, it's essential to focus on your physical and mental well-being. This might look like setting aside a few minutes each day for meditation, a practice that can help you find calm amidst the storm. Or perhaps it involves journaling your thoughts and feelings, a cathartic exercise that can provide clarity and perspective. Don't forget the role of a balanced diet in maintaining your overall health. Consuming nutritious meals can have a significant impact on your mood and energy levels. Remember, it's not about looking a certain way, but feeling your best. So treat yourself with kindness. Your wellness matters. It's time to embrace the future. Ready to move on? The past can be a teacher, guiding us through the labyrinth of life. It's not about forgetting or erasing, but learning and growing. So take a deep breath and let's step into tomorrow. Each heartbeat, each moment, is an opportunity to redefine ourselves, to become something more. You are not the same person you were yesterday, and certainly not the one you will be tomorrow. You see, the beauty of life lies in its fluidity, in its constant state of evolution. It's time to channel the energy you once dedicated to someone else, back to yourself. It's time to rediscover your passions, your dreams, your ambitions. Let them be the beacon that guides you towards your future, a future that holds so much potential. You are resilient, you are strong, and you are ready for what's next. The future holds so much potential. Embrace it with open arms. So, what have we learned today about getting over someone? We've walked through several important steps in this journey. First, we acknowledged the pain. It's crucial to understand that it's okay to feel hurt. It's okay to grieve. This is a natural part of the healing process. Next, we explored the power of distractions. Engaging in activities that we love can provide a refreshing escape and help us process our emotions in a healthier way. Then, we emphasize the importance of self-care. This can be anything from taking a relaxing bath to reading a book to simply getting a good night's sleep. Whatever it is, make sure it's something that helps you feel rejuvenated. Finally, we touched on embracing the future. Remember, this is not the end. It's simply a new chapter waiting to be written. Remember, it's okay to take time to heal. And when you're ready, the world is waiting for you. See you next time.